Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so this is a question I know I'm going to get asked a lot as soon as this phone comes out, and that is, what are the must-have apps for the Galaxy S8? Now, first of all, we all have our own personal must-have apps. So you have apps about, you know, your social media stuff, your streaming apps, whatever you like to have on your phone, you're going to have your own. However, these 10 apps are the ones that I always install on every single daily driver that I have. So these are the ones that I do recommend the most. However, the first seven are definitely recommended, like this should be on your phone. The last three are more suggestions and ones that I personally really like. First and foremost, Google Keep. This is a note-taking to-do list, reminder, everything in between kind of app, and this is really great. So you have your notes, you can uh, create a regular note just by in the bottom right here, or you can have a to-do list, or you can have a writing note, great for when you transition to, say, a note device, maybe later on in the year, voice notes, photo notes, and everything in between, easy to search, easy to color code, easy to tag, very simplistic in how you do it all, so really great overall in terms of how you want to label everything. Best note-taking app, it syncs across all of your devices with Google, and of course you can pull it up on your computer with that as well. The second app is Google Photos. Now we did do a separate video on this, but Google Photos allows you to back up every single photo you have unlimited backup. So you're not stuck with five gigs, you're not stuck with a certain amount of storage, you have unlimited backup. It saves it up to 16 megapixels, which this one is a 12 dual pixel, so you're just fine. And you also have uh, up to a 1080p video. So if you do record 4K, it will downgrade the 1080p, but hey, it's unlimited backup storage. So not that bad. The other one is one that I have to always have, and that is SwiftKey Keyboard. This is the best keyboard on every OS. You should put this on your iPhone, any Android, it beats out every single keyboard. Its customization is second to none, and its auto-correcting is the best of all time, by far. It's just, it's the best one. There, there is no argument to be made here. It does have the best experience, and this is how I like it, but you can really fine tune it, customize it exactly how you want, and really have that ability to do it a great job. You have the typing feature, so you can set up the keys how you like it. This is how I like mine set up. So if you want to copy exactly how I have it, I like arrows, I like a number row, I like the number pad to the left, and I like the uh, long press to be very short. This way, when I hold it down, I can quickly and easily long press, and I do not have to hold it for more than a second or two. You can also have an emoji button, which of course is really helpful. And again, I like the numbers on the left side, so however you want to do it, uh, but it really does do a great job of always predicting it. I've already had this phone for only two weeks, and I've saved uh, over a thousand keystrokes by its recommendations. Uh, so very good, and you can resize it, you can do emoji predictions. So if you type in something like coffee, coffee will show up there before you finish the word. So it's really great. I really highly recommend it. And not only that, but you can have different themes. So you can see a color or style that you like. And there just are so many. So feel free to look through all the different kind of keyboards that you can get. Um, and yeah, there's just so many. And they're still loading. Uh, you have Christmas ones, which I do like to have during the holidays. So there are a lot of them. Next up, HD widgets. Now, HD widgets are definitely my favorite series of widgets that you can have. Basically, they're completely customizable widgets, and you can get them in all shapes, sizes, color sizes, and everything. So, just to give an idea, when you go into widgets and you go to HD widgets, you have 10 different sizes to choose from. And then once you pick that size, say most people would probably have a four by one on their phone, you can then customize it. So first of all, you can customize the style. So 
Uh, you have color form, you have uh, glass gems, and then you have uh, what I like to use. Uh, I think that's, yeah, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce it, but you have all these different styles, shapes, and all these different kind of things you can do. Uh, indicators are awesome. I uh, Switches are the number one thing I use. I use switches and calendar date, so you can see on my other phone. I have a bunch of switches so I can turn my ringer on and off right here. I can hit an icon and it immediately goes into my calendar or immediately goes into my clock for alarm. So these are the kind of things that you get. I immediately go to my storage, my data, if I want to uh, reset my mobile network. These are all things you can do with uh, these widgets. And you can also do that here. So if I hit the weather it'll take me to weather but if I hit the time it'll take me to my clock if I hit the calendar it'll take me to my calendar so I really like that it's just completely customizable the next one is Adobe Reader and this is just really simple and easy if you want PDFs to be the best on Android you want Adobe Reader there are plenty of other ones but none as good and that read every single type of uh, PDF as Adobe Reader does so just get Adobe Reader. It's the best one out there. The next one is Zedge. Zedge is a great intro for most people on how to get wallpapers and really high quality looking ones and ringtones and live wallpapers and notifications. So this is your best customization, I would say, for most entry level users for Android. It's a great start, great, simple, easy, and just quick. I still like it the best for ringtones. Now you can customize your own ringtone and get ringtone makers and uh, do it that way. But I get most of my ringtones from here. So I just hit ringtones and you can play whichever ones you want and see a bunch of all the ones. They typically have like new songs uh, as well. So that's a really good feature that I like to, if there's a new song I really like, I can download the ringtone from here typically. Next up is one that a lot of people don't know about and that doesn't come with the phone. It's actually a bloatware that I always download and that's from Samsung. So first of all, how to get this one, it's in the Galaxy App Store. So you go to the Galaxy App Store and you go to their exclusive Galaxy Essentials and it's right here, Samsung Video Library. Now, why do I like this? it's because I have a lot of photos and a lot of videos on this device and on all my devices so on every one of them I download the video app so that I can just browse the videos pretty simple right it gives me the ability to just look at videos that I have on the phone it's like a gallery for your videos and only your videos I love this feature personally I think it's pretty much one of the best uh, ways to find your videos quickly and easily no matter what folder they're in, this only shows videos, so I think it simplifies things a lot. So those are the ones that I highly recommend you get. Now, these are a couple other ones that are more suggestions. The first one is Google Rewards. Now, Google Rewards, what it does is it basically gives you money for answering surveys. That's it. If you answer surveys, you get rewards, and that's it. So you get rewards here and there. I get it all the time, and then that allows me to buy apps, or if I want to do any of the uh, play to pay kind of games, uh, which I review a lot of here, I can then spend it as I did recently with Google Rewards money. So free money, not bad. The next one is Slick Deals. Now Slick Deals is a very simple app that I always have on all my phones. And basically it just has a lot of different deals. So if you are a shopper, this is definitely the app for you. It has everything from clothing. It does tailor towards you, so mine tailors towards me. So mine mostly has tech uh, items, but you have a lot of things that you like to get. It has it all here, whether it be movies, whether it be um, electronics, whether it be fashion. It caters towards you after it learns what you really like, but overall, it really just has a little bit of everything. So really good on that aspect that if you just want to find deals, this is it. And finally, the last one that all of you know that I install on my daily driver is Nova Launcher. Now I do not have it on this phone as I'm still just testing this phone out, 
but on my regular S7 I do. So just to kind of give you an idea of the difference, and I can do this because I have Nova Launcher, this is regular Samsung, right? So, you know, this is regular Samsung. This is how it looks like. I cannot go all the way around, as you can see. That's regular Samsung. This is Nova Launcher. So notice I have a Google widget right here. I have four icons here and how many rows of apps I have here. Completely different looking. So with this one, I always have a Google and a weather up here. I have more rows than I did uh, without this. I also can go all the way around, which I love and demand. I can swipe down from any part of the screen and my notification panel comes down. I can swipe up and my Google Home comes up. And I can swipe up from the bottom half and my app drawer comes up. And see, it's a white background, so it's easy to read all of these and simple and easy. Different animations as well. Uh, even though on this version of Android that I have here on the S8, I can long press and it will give me abilities. I could not do that always until 7.0 came. However, on Nova, I could always do that. So I really like that ability that I've always had that. So that's the really great part about Nova. It's for the most personalized version of Android, not for everyone, but if you really want to get the pure personalization of Android, Nova Launcher is the way to go. All right, guys, hopefully this helped you out. Uh, make sure to check out all of our other coverage on the Galaxy S8 as we have the most coverage on YouTube for this device. And we have everything from the glass screen protector we have on it to everything else you can think of. And if we don't have it, let me know it, what you want and I will make a video for it in the comment section down below. Let me know. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy.